What's happening, people? And once again, welcome back to youtube.com forward slash Cubcam TV for this, another edition of Cub Reacts as we continue to explore the latest new musical flavor. And we are back inside the building once again, exploring one of my favorite places in the world. And that is, of course, Zambia. We are looking at the first ever reaction on this channel to the sounds of Natasha Chancer, um, an artist that you guys have been getting onto me for months now to react to. Um, and this is a track that goes by the name Sini Aziba. It came out about a week and a half ago. Um, this is an animated lyric video. I've literally just got around to doing this. I've had such a big backlog of videos to do. And bear in mind, we're putting out three or four videos a day. So if you keep putting your requests in, it's not that we're ignoring them. It's literally that we have so many videos to do that I just haven't got around to doing them yet. We do try to get every single track done. Um, this one also features Yo Maps, who is obviously absolutely killing it right now. And I know a ton of people on this channel um, have started following the channel purely off the back of uh, the reactions we've done to him. So big up each and every one of you. I'm excited to check this one out. As always, if you're new to the channel, do make sure you're getting involved by hitting that subscribe button on the right hand side of the page turning notifications on as well leaving a like leaving a comment and all of that good stuff and let's check this one out let's go oh i'm already loving the drums produced by mac knight okay Already loving this back and forth we're getting right from the jump, but the production on this is solid, really big, potent, bouncy drums, um, full of kind of punchiness, full of just potency in general. The whole thing just has a very kind of sweeping feel to it as well. A lot of synthesizer action, um, kind of going from right to left, and again, both that sort of both of their vocals right from the jump. Um already have this very kind of, uh, again, kind of spacey feel to them. You're hearing those sort of electronic elements intertwining, but also hearing their vocals naturally intertwining just on the way the tune's built. This is sounding great so far. Oh, that transition between the two of them was great. The fact you got the snares suddenly start appearing as the, the... The snares suddenly started appearing just as the tune kind of amplifies in its intensity. Really, really cool. And I like the fact they're actually doing a proper level call and respond. They're mimicking each other's kind of approaches. They're talking about the same things. They're intertwining, but also giving each other like a four bar, four bar back and forth. I love the back to back sort of feel on this one. And again... Uh, Natasha's vocal sounds great. It does have that sort of um, real kind of natural glimmer in the way that her vocal sits through a lot of the processing. Again, we know what Yo Maps brings to the table. He does bring this very kind of, um, kind of uh, I don't know, I want to say electrifying vocal because a lot of the stuff I hear from him is kind of in that upper range that naturally to me sits as being like an electrifying sound. Um, yeah, I'm really liking this. I'm liking how it's coming together. Hey, you may Tell you what, there are so many different transitional sections to this already. Um, it's actually quite difficult to keep up with. The pacing on this is nuts. You're going from the introduction, uh, which is very kind of big based on those drum sounds. You then move into a section which is a little more sort of based on their back and forth. You then get into this big kind of emotional hook. Um, and again, it is, as they're saying, like they're not trying to sound corny, but it's just literally saying it how it is. Um, again, apologies for any sort of language barriers on this. If there's anything you feel I should know that I'm missing, let me know in the comment section down below. Unfortunately, I'm extremely uh, unilingual in, in the way that I can speak. I know English and that's pretty much it, which is a shame. Um, but again, loving the vocal effects we're hearing across Yomap's vocal on this one as well. And again, it's just their back and forth, which is really working for me. I did not expect that switch up. That. Oh, baby. 
There's so much to like about this. This is a tune that will rock dance floors in a lot of different ways because that's such a kind of unexpected switch up. You go, um, in general, the drums on this are very sort of dance music orientated. They're very big, they're very punchy, they're very in your face. But because of the way the lyrics are kind of structured and because of the way the vocals are structured, they're not kind of, they're not, I suppose, not const- kind of constantly just uplifting. They're, they're kind of sitting in their own place. They're doing a call and respond. And then suddenly you get the, it, you get the animated video kind of flashing and strobe lighting. And then you kind of get this drum roll and you're going and then the next thing you know you literally have like a party anthem going on something like major laser-esque in the way that it's been put together i love that as a transition because it came out of nowhere and it's literally kept me on my toes as a as a listener i love it Again, their back and forth is fantastic, man. I'm loving the fact that you're going from a very, very skippy vocal from Natasha that. Again, utilizing a lot of skippy textures, utilizing a really nice approach to the syllabic structure, just giving, um, again, an energy boost to the tune. It's like playing Mario Kart and going over like the, the little three arrows that give you the boost. That's what it sounds like um, whenever Natasha appears on this tune. And it cuts back to Yomaps, and Yomaps is bringing, again, a bit more of an electronic sounding performance, but he is being the, almost the perfect kind of, the perfect mirror, I feel, for Natasha in this scenario. They're going up and then down and then down and then up and then up and then down it's just a constantly moving alternating bag of um different musical elements that makes it so enjoyable Just loving how these drums are processed, man. You've literally got like there's little vocal shimmers almost interwoven into the fabric of how those drums move. That sort of that little sound there. I don't know whether that's a human sound or that's a specific um, piece of percussive instrumentation, but it just gives it more life and it gives it more kind of natural rhythm. Um, I love the way these drums are processed because they have so much natural bounce and I like the fact that both of the vocalists actually sit back for a second and just kind of let themselves harmonize. They're not trying to do anything skippy flow-wise. They're just going, here is a texture above. The rhythm is coming from down below. We don't need to provide rhythm over this section. What we need to provide is almost sonic texture. Um, And it's smart. Really, really smart, man. But we'll let this one run through to the end and then give it our final breakdown. But this is a party anthem, man. The proper party anthem. There we go. What an introduction to Natasha Chancer. This one is a fantastic tune. Fantastic tune. Uh, Cine Ziba featuring Yo Maps. This one, the animated lyric video. I love how unpredictable this was. It definitely wasn't what I was expecting. I love the fact that we went from, again, this very emotional kind of almost post R&B introduction to this full on party anthem realistically the way those drums were alternating the way the switch up happened even the fact the animated music video had that sort of strobe light effect going on it just lifted everything to the next level really really cleanly done man again a great introduction to natasha i'll definitely be keeping an eye on everything she's doing if there's any other previous natasha tracks that you think um I don't know, you think that would make sense me reacting to here on the channel? Again, I'm not trying to dive too much into the past. Um, I'm kind of looking for sort of the bigger anthems from Natasha. If there are any that you think I should be checking out, do let me know in the comments section down below. Um, and again, obviously, I'm trying to stay up to date with as much as what Yomaps is doing as possible. We've been following him quite heavily for the last couple of months. So yeah, fantastic stuff. As always, guys, if you are new to the channel, um, do make sure you are getting involved by hitting that subscribe button on the right-hand side of the page. Of course, turning notifications on as well, leaving a like, leaving a comment, and all, the, all of that good 
good stuff. You guys have been absolutely killing it this year. We're now hurtling towards 64,000 subscribers. That's absolutely crazy. Um, I literally looked on a memory I had today on the channel, and we hit 17,000 this time last year. So we have absolutely skyrocketed this year, and it is entirely down to you guys. So big up each and every one of you. I cannot thank you all enough. Um, thank you so much for your support over this year, and that's it from me. So hopefully you have enjoyed, and we shall see you all next time. Have a fantastic rest of your Tuesday, and peace. This is Aaron Bitch and you're tuning to the sounds of Kovu right now. You already know the thing. Bad boy selector. Alright, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go.